Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we are finally going to install this wheel that I've been staring at for the past few days. I've been waiting to install it forever, sitting over there in the seat, just waiting. So we're gonna get that installed. First thing I did is disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Uh, it's been sitting for about five minutes now. And the first thing we're gonna be using is this T45 bit. Oh no, that hole. There it is. So that's where the T45 is here this little hole here is just for the screws uh, that hold the front part on so yeah well I'm gonna get those off and whenever I get those off I'm gonna come right back to you guys okay everybody so we got these screws out one we had to actually take out because when you pull on it it kind of gets stuck so I just took a uh, little pin back there and push tabs because it actually locks the nut in place it has these little, wait a minute, okay, okay, it has these little ridges here that hold it in. Uh, that kind of made things a little weird, but once I got that out, then I was able to slide out the airbag, and then you got this thing here. So then what you're going to want to do is these orange tabs here. It's kind of hard to get this thing out. These little orange tabs here you can take out, and also it connects back there. Just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna pop out these orange tabs. Really, nigga? Alright, and it just pulls straight out. A little latch here to get these wires out. And we got that off, the airbag is out. I'm just gonna set that off to the side. If you have holes like these, right there, those two little holes. Uh, it's a it's to help assist you take off the steering wheel uh, so that when you're pulling on it, it doesn't come smacking you in the face. But I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to kind of go off and try and not smack myself in the face with this. See how well this works out. Shiz and gears. Hey, that actually works. So I'm going to use a 7 8 form. I'm going to actually use my breaker line instead. So set that off to the side. Pump that in there, and then what we're gonna do? Ah, it's a plasma force. Broke that bolt. Majority of the way, but not all the way. And now what I'm gonna do is try and break this loose, just like that. So now it's not gonna smack me in my face, as you can see, it's completely free from the steering wheel. Uh, so now I can completely undo my nut. It's a little washer in there too, that you're gonna wanna hold on to. Uh, now we can put the steering wheel aside. This is officially the old steering wheel. And basically all we have to work with here is, uh, since we're not gonna be using this, we do have to take this off. How to get this off, I'm not entirely sure. So hopefully I don't completely destroy this. We will see. But there's two Phillips head screws. I'm gonna get these off and take it apart, see how I'm supposed to work this. And I'll get back to you as soon as I get that done. So this is where stuff starts to get a little intimidating. I uh, got the shroud off and I can see this. So it looks like the housing for your turn signals here on uh, your windshield wipers, but it's also all in here. Now I've seen one video of a guy who took this apart and the big cable that's in here unwound. So. I'm gonna attempt to avoid that. Not sure how. But uh yeah. Okay, so it actually looks like we're gonna lose the functionality of your turn signal auto cancel whenever we turn that because if you see that's what happens. Uh and there's no way for me to keep this on here and put the new hub on. It's just not gonna work. So, gotta figure out how to get just this piece off. When I can figure that out, uh, then I think I'll be all set. So, I'll get back to you when I figure that one out. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I did figure it out. It looked a lot more intimidating than it actually was, and mainly because of the massive amount of clips that are on this piece, piece of plastic. But, if I let you see, if you look right here, there's one clip here, come around the side, 
there is one clip here. Oh, sorry. There's another clip right here. On the other side, come back around. There's another clip right here. If you undo those, this entire thing comes right off. Then once you get that off, you have access to all the plugs on the back side. Unplug those, and voila, you have that off. Now I just gotta figure out how to wire up my horn, and I'll be all set. All right, so we've already made sure that the wheel was centered when we took it off. So on this NRG hub, there's a little white dot right there. See, why does this focus never work? And there's a little white dot right there. Now, I'm gonna be doing something extremely sketchy, which is running without a horn, and that's only because I don't have anything to actually mount a piece of plastic or a uh, piece of copper or something that conduct that's conductor. What I'm thinking is connecting it somehow to this because that's just shallow enough to make contact behind here to touch the uh, part back there so whenever you're spinning the wheel, uh, it will always have contact. So, need to figure that out. I'm hopefully, I'm going to look online see if there are any pieces because it's relatively easy to disassemble once you have it all together. But, um, so... I'm going to leave this little piece of shrouding on here and just stick everything inside uh, until then, just so that it doesn't make contact with anything and make my horn go off. Uh, my airbag light will be on. i got to find out a little hack to make the airba airbag light go off. But uh, basically, all I'm going to do is bolt everything back up. I showed you in the video of the unboxing of all this uh, how to connect everything. So I'm going to get this part bolted on, secured completely. Once I get that secure completely, I'll show you the end product. Alright guys, here's the final product. We got the hub on there. Next we got the wheel. We're going to pull down the collar. Slip it on. Turn it to lock it. Oh, I put it on there. I already locked. Turn it on there to lock it. It's locked. We're good. My battery is on 1% right now. So, we have this here. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down in the uh, comment box down below. Uh, I'll leave all the parts again that I used here in the description. Alright, so my camera died while I was in the car. I was showing the final product. I did get a little bit of footage though. I just didn't get to end everything. So, that's basically it for today's video, everybody. I want to thank you so much for staying tuned to the end uh, if you've gotten this far. Uh, thank you from the deepest part of my heart. I do want to turn this into a full-time thing, so I'm going to try and, and upload videos more consistently uh, because I love cars. I love gaming. I uh, also love music, but we might do something uh, on the channel for that a little further down as well. But thank you so very much. Uh, if you have any questions or want to recommend a video for me to do, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to get notifications on whenever I upload something so you're the first to know. Thank you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.